Hello everyone, my name is William and I'm a Stratasys Application Engineer for Go Engineer. Today I'm going to show you a few options on the Control Center software. You may have seen some of these options before, but maybe you weren't quite sure how to use them. So I'm going to go over each one in detail. Okay, so first I want to show you the Pack Options box, and that's this button right here. And as you can see, we have several features here. The XY gutter is a distance allowed between parts. For example, the distance between these two parts is 0.1. Now, you can change this value, but be careful, because if your parts are too close to each other, you may have surface finish issues. So I generally don't like to go below 0.1. Okay, print screen after downloading allows you to print the screen right after you click build job. So if you were to do that, it would automatically open the print screen image window and you can print this on paper, or you can print this as a PDF and email it to someone. Okay, so the next thing I wanna show you is repack models at plat and center. So this feature allows you to pack all of your parts at the center of the platen when you click repack. If you don't have this box checked and you hit repack, it'll pack everything to the bottom left hand corner. So if you don't want that, make sure that the box is checked so you can print everything at the center. Okay, so the next feature I wanna show you is sacrificial tower. This feature is used to improve the surface finish of your parts. So if you've ever had a part that has tiny burn marks or black specks on it, this feature can help eliminate or reduce that. Okay, so this is what a sacrificial tower looks like. And this was made out of ABSI material on our 400MC printer. And as you can see, it's not a solid tower. It's actually just two contours of model material. So the way that it works is the printer is actually going to print these contours first before moving on to your other parts. The reason it does this is so that any imperfections are on the tower rather than on your part. Okay, let's go ahead and make a sacrificial tower. And there's actually a couple height options. Support top means that your tower is going to stop building at the last support layer. For example, if your support stops building at 2 inches, then that means your tower is going to be 2 inches tall. If you want your sacrificial tower to be the height of your part, you can select full height. However, imperfections are more likely on layers that have support material. So after you select your height, you can click OK and as you can see you now have a sacrificial tower and you're free to move it wherever you want it doesn't matter as I mentioned earlier it's going to print these contours first before moving on to any of the other parts okay so under pack options there's one more feature allow pack download with overlapping parts this feature is used to nest one part inside of another however I don't recommend using this method it's much more effective to nest parts on insight and for this, you can watch our tutorial on combining slice files. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is how to set up your status notifications. You can use this if you want to be notified by email when your jobs are done or if they pause for some reason. Okay, so you'll need to check this box. And also, you're going to have to ask your IT department for your SMTP server. After you have that, you can create a from email for control center. And the final step is to add the recipients. Okay everyone, that's the end of my tutorial. Thank you for watching.